Whenever you're feeling lost or you may try and look for a sign, but how would you feel if you couldn't find one? Well, that's what the sheriffs in Moody County have been dealing with the past few days. We now turn to Kelloland's Max Hofer to tell us more. Max? As many roads across Moody County remain either flooded or damaged, it's hard to be everywhere at once. To work around this, they have put up signs and barricades telling people to find safer routes around the area. But some people are taking another route, the route of theft, stealing the expensive city barricades and leaving routes open for trouble. They don't have a budget to go buy new signs. They're not like they can just go to Walmart and grab a new sign. Those are certain dimensions made by the prison so that they met all the DOT requirements. For those who decide to steal road signs, much like the one pictured behind me here, it can result in a whole bunch of consequences. It could be a charge of vandalism if we find out who is damaging the signs. It could be a petty theft charge if we figure out who's taking the signs. While those charges may be costly, they're nothing compared to the cost of someone's life. If we find out that somebody moved them or damaged them to a point where somebody else went through them and an accident happened, they became injured or worse killed, we could go back and possibly charge the people that that took the signs. Sheriff Wellman says that no crashes have happened so far. Instead of barricades, there's something else people should take away. Society as a whole needs to go back to common sense. If it's not yours, don't mess with it. Ask permission. Don't take something that's not yours. Don't go around barricades. They're there for a reason. And just yeah, common sense needs to become common again as a society. One of the barricades has already been returned. And if your usual route is blocked off by a sign or a barricade, find a different path, don't steal it, and always keep your eyes on the road.